called Gary, better known as G. Down here, touchdown kicks and fits. LLC, located in Oxford, Alabama. New to the city, bringing flavor. You know what I'm saying? I got clothes, I got shoes. And we got other stuff that we can offer. I even verify sneakers here. We got a sneaker cleaning service coming soon. How you get into uh, like the culture of sneakers and stuff like that? How you get into that? Well, man, to be totally honest with you, bro. Like back when I was about 16, I had my first job, real job that I liked anyway, um, down at AJ's Men's Fashion, which was located right here down the street in Oxford too. And that was the spot they sold clothes and a lot of shoes. So. Sneakers really just been a thing for a long time. I've always had fly sneakers coming up. So what made, when, when did you come to the point where you was like, all right, you turned that love for shoes and clothes into like opening up a store? Like when did that happen? Well, man, like I had to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? I figured out that working for somebody really went for me. And, you know, me always being into fashion, I started a clothing brand first though. And that's called Mozilla Brand Company. Now, when I started that, that was straight out the house. You know what I'm saying? And it kind of went up from there. So it just made me feel like I should have a store one day. So then I opened the store. You gotta look like somebody in order to feel like somebody or be somebody. So. You know, for every every group, every age, whatever, every race, man, putting on them sneakers though, with that gear, that turned it up to a whole nother level, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't care who you is, but if you're walking in with some fly J's or some fly uh, Yeezys or something like that, of that sort, man, you know. It's like a respect thing. The respect level that. goes yeah. from here to here, you know what I mean? Yeah. So what keeps you, I think you touched on it a minute ago, but like driven in this industry, like when you do have slow days or when it get hard or whatever, what, what keep you motivated to like stay with it or stay focused on it? Well, man, with them hardships, you know, I've been a hustler all my life for real, man. So, you know, it was always fast days, it was always slow days. So I caught on to the concept early, but you just have to apply everything to life. like basically like basic instructions, you know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure you just stay focused. Don't let what you're seeing going on around you blind you and stop you. When you got product, as long as you got product, you got money. It's gonna sell. It just didn't sell yesterday. It may not sell today, but it's definitely gonna sell. For sure. That's the mid top joint ones. Uh, I know they're the red toes. Them. They got the bread color wave on it, you know what I mean? A lot of people don't really understand or know what bread means, but basically it's black and red, you know what I'm saying? So the color wave is pretty crazy. The high tops, I think the high tops have deliver a better quality, but these shoes right here still are pretty dope. And they some great sellers. Yeah. Definitely great sellers, and it ain't too, too stiff on the pocket like the high top would be. Right. Like I got some highs right here. See the quality of leather. I mean leather, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. The leather quality is totally different. Like it feels like butter, man. Yeah. Better quality. Not much of a height difference. Yeah. As you a lot of people think. Say for instance, I use this for example. You set these up side by side. Ain't much of a height difference. But most people gonna go for the highs rather than the mids. Gotcha. But a lot of sneakerheads really they just really come and shop, man, honestly. Yeah. For real. So what keep me driven the most for real though is just seeing my customers in and out. Even if you buy if you even if you're not buying. You still was a potential customer. Yeah. Still a customer. So, so foot you, traffic is great. You get, you can basically order, you can order shoes too. But like what you don't have in, you can order. 
for customers? Yeah, man, I can order any sneaker that you want. Okay. I don't care what shoe it is, if you name it, I can get it. Okay. But the thing is, you just have to wait three days to seven days. And then, you know what I'm saying, you have to pay up front, but all my customers trust me, so. All right, so let's go back a little bit to like, um, you know, growing up, like where we from, you know, we in Oxford now, your store in Oxford. You know, we from Anderson, I'm from Anderson too. Right, right, so come on with me. Let's talk just about like, what this mean to you, like opening up this store coming from where we come from and, you know, our childhood, what do this mean to you, like having a store and, you know, touching Man. that. I think about stuff like that every day, for real. Just realizing how you came from nothing to something. You know what I'm saying? Like growing up, you ain't really had nothing personally to yourself, except, especially when you had brothers. You know what I'm saying? We had to share a lot of stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm originally from South Anderson. Originally uh, from South Anderson, grew up on the east. And you know, it was rough out there. Yeah. We had a lot of good time, we had a lot of bad time. Yeah. But me just seeing the progress that I made, I changed my life up. I decided to leave the streets alone and get focused on business. Yeah. It paid off more to be in business. Yeah. So, you know, just, like I said, just seeing the difference now from when I first started, just selling my basic t-shirts out the back of a trunk, yeah. to actually having a whole store now, it's deep, man. It's real. Yeah. It's real. I fuck with it. Do you feel like your, your uh, upbringing or like, you know, your childhood affects how you move now as a businessman? Like how you came up and how you started, like where you came from? Yeah, man, definitely, definitely. But see, like, life is a game, man. You have to play it, you know what I'm saying, at your best ability. So, you know, me coming up and my upbringing and stuff, I seen my mom struggle a lot, but she never gave up. And she also, like, literally, you seen her blossom. You get what I'm saying? She went from working at Taco Bell to working as a doctor now. You get what I'm saying? It's different. Yeah. It's different. Like, she was a hustler, bro. She really did what she had to do for her three boys. My yeah. stepdad did come in, definitely came in, and he took care of business, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, yeah. hey, he was a hustler himself, man. Yeah. Dead and they never give up. It was plenty of times I used to get up in the morning with him. We going to cut grass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He went from working at McDonald's, now he a preacher. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, he a preacher, um, what what they call an elder now. He's an elder, so yeah, nice. man. You know, they never gave up. So that gave me a lot of inspiration. Yeah. That really made me who I am today.